anyways, I was I was somewhere killing time. Oh, yesterday when I was in Chicago. And I was uh, in the hotel, and I, they had a marathon on of those doomsday preppers. And uh, uh, they were all fucked. Do you know why all those doomsday preppers are fucked? Is because they're loners. They might survive some initial shit. They might last a month. They might last a year. But they're just, instead of ripping the Band-Aid off like me, and just getting fucking, you know, bludgeoned to death within the first 24 hours. <laughs> or vaporized from something blowing up. That, that's, that's my doomsday plan. My, my doomsday prepping that I do is that I live in probably the most dangerous city that you could possibly live in. As far as earthquakes, as far as the water supply, as far as the fucking inability to get the fuck out of there. I really should get a helicopter license and try to go on eBay and buy some fucking used chopper. Because other than that, I'm fucked. But there's, there's a there's a piece that you gain from just being completely fucked. Is you just, yeah, what am I going to do? I'm fucked. All right? Oh, I got a great idea. I'm going to sell a doomsday prepper um, kit. For people who don't want to prep. And what it's going to be, it's going to be a, a beautiful locket that you wear. They'll have a male one. It's a little more masculine. Put some spikes on it or some shit. For male or female. And when you open it up, there's one little cyanide pill in there. <laughs> there you go. You just off yourself. The dollar's collapsing. There's fighting in the street. You just pop it in there. And that's it. It's over. You know? You want to live and be on dead body patrol? Going out there with your fucking ski mask on, having to bury all those cunts before they give out disease? Because that's what you're going to be doing if you survive. If you're a low-level human like myself, where you're really not bringing anything to the table, if they let you survive, if they decide out of the fucking blue to let you survive, that's what you're going to be on. That's going to be your first fucking jobs. Other than getting naked and having them throw fucking lye all over you, whatever they fuck, lime? Is that what they throw at lye? Lime all over you to get rid of the body lice. Your job, you're going to go out there in some sort of Tarzan fucking bikini bottoms with that powdered sugar all over you, and you're going to just start, you're going to have, it's going to be it. So my suggestion is either get some cyanide or learn how to use, operate a backhoe. Because other than that, if you survive, you're going to be standing there with a shovel, getting a fucking sunburn that uh, the, 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 the modern world has never seen. Anyways, I'm watching this, this doomsday prepper thing, and uh, they got all these guys doing this shit. And they got this one dude who's just, you know, he's got like fucking three years worth of shit. He's got flat screen TV. He's got all this fucking stuff down. I love the flat screen TV. That's hilarious to me. Like, uh. It's the end of the world, but somehow cable still exists. <laughs> somehow somebody is at the, the head of uh, cable, cable Central, wherever that is, flipping the switch so you can see the final eight episodes of Breaking Bad. Um, despite the fast, everybody connected with Hollywood is now gone. Um, except for Wesley Snipes. I'm sure he's got a bunker somewhere. Um yeah, if you got the balls and not pay the government taxes, you definitely got you got you have a strategy in place. And plus, just even if that shit, even if he didn't take martial arts, just the sword swinging alone that he had to learn the choreography that would scare the fuck out of most zombies, and they turn the other way, right? Um, so he's got all of this stuff, and he's sitting there talking about he he's still afraid of uh, the Russians and a nuclear holocaust. He's been prepping for thirty years because that's basically what they used to scare the shit out of us about. Um, I came in the tail end of it in the 70s, and uh, this guy was older than me, so they psychologically fucked this guy up so bad that he was now, you know, stockpiling this hole in the ground, and then he found out that uh, recently declassified information said that the Russians had detonated some fucking, I don't know, 200 megaton fucking something or other, the biggest bomb ever detonated, they did it. 
and he realized that he wasn't deep enough. So he went out and he bought this big steel fucking tube. And the whole time he's doing this, this guy is like 200 pounds overweight. And it's like, dude, you, 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 you better... You better deal with that first. Like, you, you're going to drop of a fucking heart attack before they drop a fucking bomb on us. And he finally addressed it. He said, you know, I probably should get myself in better shape. Um, of course, he was sitting down the entire time. And even with the T-shirt on, the guy was so fucking fat, you could tell that he was finished. But um, So I actually liked the guy because he finally addressed the fact that he was out of shape and needed to do something about it. But towards the end, there was this 15-year-old kid who, since the age of 12... Um, maybe he was a little bit older. When was 2008? That was five years ago. He was about 17. He was 12 when the 2008 uh, banking collapse happened. So he went on and he, the internet and he started reading up on banks and probably saw the conspiracy theory that I did and it scared the fucking shit out of him as a 12-year-old. And this fucking kid has been like scavenging slash stealing shit wherever he can because he doesn't have any money. And he has all these guns, and he has these fucking swords and shit. And he dresses in fatigues and stuff. And his mother is just sitting there going like, you know, I always wanted a normal son. I don't know why he feels he has to do this. And that now he's got, he's brought a friend into a fold, and, the, and then they brought a uh, friend into the fold, and he brought a third person into the fold. And it's literally like, lady, lady, did you see Colin by... All right, I'm not saying this kid is like that, but like, what the fuck are you doing? Her, her her big parental moment was he's not allowed to go to the gun range without her. She goes there and lets him practice, and this fucking kid was great. His spread was basically from you know one ventricle to the fucking other. All right, is this, is there two ventricles or is that an aorta? I don't fucking know. I'll Google map the heart at the end of this. Um, yeah, he was basically hitting it all center mass right around right around your fucking heart, right? And But then he goes home, and he's got the ammo, and he has the guns in his fucking bedroom. And, um, you know, he's like, I'm thankful to uh, grow up with guns. He didn't even have a southern accent. Why am I fucking trashing the south again? He had this fucking awful haircut. He didn't have a girlfriend. He's a fucking, he's, he's going down this rabbit hole and she's just letting him do it. And uh, I found it really disturbing. I don't find it disturbing when, like, I see those kids smiling and they have rifles and their parents have gotten them into hunting. I know people out where I live and when I lived in New York City, they freak out about that stuff. Um, really intolerant of it. You know, as they eat a fucking chicken burrito. Uh, but I don't. I think you should know how to hunt and do all that type of shit. You know what I know I could fucking kill? I could kill a pig. A wild boar. I would love to go out and do that. Fucking shoot that thing. You know? Now I want to hear from the rednecks out there. What What am I in for? If I miss and that thing comes up on me, don't they just start fucking eating you? They're pigs, right? They fucking eat anything. Would I scare them, or would I look like one of those white chocolate-covered pretzels? <laughs> They'd think my freckles were salt. They'd be all over it. Um, would it be okay, can, can somebody, you know, next time I do one of my southern tours here, can you guys take me pig hunting? And uh, I want to fucking do it up. I'm going to go Rambo style with a crossbow, but I do want to have a backup Uzi. And I know if you're a redneck, I know you have a fucking Uzi. That's been fucking handed down since the, the 80s, whenever the fuck Uzis came out, before laws prevented you from getting them. It's for, uh, well, I'm hunting quail. Uh, is this America? 